Is it it's uh, him. Uh, rub some acid in his eyes. That'll freshen him up. Come Master, evilness truly suits you. Let us go forth. There are nefarious deeds to be done. I feel the land quaking with fear already. Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Overlord. I am Nam, minion master and devoted servant of darkness. The haziness will pass, and your muscles will become limber again. You have been asleep for a very long time. This cavern is the spawning pit, sire, where new minions are born and live. Now you are here, you can call forth minions from this minion gate. Here early on, there's a lot of tutorial dialogue, so I'm going to not talk over that. Ah, look at those keen little evil faces, ready to loot and pillage at your command. Let us continue. Follow me if you wish to study the finer points of combat and minion control. Of course, if you want to get straight to the smiting, then I shall meet you in the throne room upstairs. I am going to go ahead and go through the tutorial. Your minions will follow you wherever you go, Master. Unless you give them Just a task. Just let you get a good idea of what sorts of controls are available to me. Being Overlord is more than just throwing a few fireballs and causing chaos. Proper evil takes skill and maybe, well, just a bit of mayhem. <laughs> I think the Sleeping Beauty's a little rusty. Oh, our jester, sire. I really should have nailed him out for the crows long ago. Teach him to respect his overlord. Okay, so you do get the ability to really strike. It's not something you use very often at all, but... Good. Now hit him again. When things get in close, Don't hold back. you do use it. See? It's all coming back now. Evil is not something you just forget. Come on, you! That's it! Now you the locking on function is a little problematic at times of not wanting to lock on to what you would like for it to, but it's still very helpful. Uh, it's also the only way to turn the camera. You hit the lock on button, it will turn the camera to face whatever way to go. Princess, you move like a dead puncher! Shame you don't smell as good! He's out of your reach, sire! Use your minions to shut his flapping mouth! Hi, Tubbs! They should call you the This overlord. is the control that I use the most often by far. You just to see push the trigger. About the, place. the menu Try will run straight forward and do whatever action is appropriate for what call they run into. Minions back, Master. All of them. Hi, Mr. Overlord! Show me some evil! If you need your minions to follow a complicated route, then you must sweep them through it. This is useful for if you need to get them across a bridge or something like that. Uh, it's not the most trustworthy control though, so I won't use it all that often. Uh, right now when there's only three minions, it's not too bad, but... Don't let him get away, sire! Sweep your minions after him! Bet he'll whittle himself silly! Once you get a decent sized horde under your control, when you sweep them on to someone, you'll find that only a handful of them will attack. If you've got 15, you'll see that only 5 or 6 start to attack, and some of them will start to wander back. It's just not as useful as the other one. I think you're ready, Master. Accompany me to the throne room. Evil deeds won't do themselves. Feel free to beat him further if you wish. 
So you can at this point stick around and attack the Jester some more if you want. Uh, all it does is give you a title. Uh, I'll show you a little later on how it does the titles. Because what it is is that the Jester is in your tower. Anytime you're there, he'll just follow you around, calling you various names, based on what actions you've taken in the game. Some of them will be choices towards good or evil. Some of them are just whether or not you saw something or did something extra, like sticking around to hit him or... Your throne room, sire. Alas, one cannot be a bastion of evil these days without wretched heroes lining up to prove themselves. That last lot were particularly bothersome, killing your predecessor like that. Still, you're here now, sire. Evil will always find a way. They also looted and destroyed much of the tower. But it's merely a setback for the forces of darkness, sire. You are our new overlord! Rebuild your tower, punish those so-called heroes, and re-establish a dark domain! This is the Tower Portal, sire. Sadly, it's missing its power source, the Tower Heart. However, there's still a tiny bit of energy left. It's just enough to transport you to the last known location of the Heart. When you're ready, sire, step through the gate. I shall meet you on the other side. And now we're loading into an era, area called Mellow Hills. It's the first area. Uh, unfortunately, we do still have some more tutorial stuff to do in it before it's really going to cut us loose. But it also it's not just the tutorial area. It is where we will start to play the game pretty much for the first time. Ah, you made it through the gate, sire. This tranquil wilderness, so rural and idyllic, hideous, is it not? Try not to inhale it, my lord. You can summon your minions from these gates. They are ancient arcane links between your tower and this land. Currently, you can only summon browns. You must find the other lost minion tribes before you can summon them. Perhaps we may recover some of our looted tower objects in this lush, verdant abomination. Your minions are waiting. They need only to be summoned. Okay, and next time on Let's Play Overlord, we will start to explore the Mellow Hills.